Hey guys, in this simple example, let's see what it would take to actually flip your animation and play it backwards. So let's create a simple animation. I'm gonna grab a box, draw a box on my uh, grid. Then I'm gonna go to, let's set this to frame 24. Go to frame 24 and I'm gonna press S and go back to one and let's go ahead and make this smaller. So our animation is from one, it's a small box and 24 the box gets larger so if i play the animation this is what i get and of course i can in my play it backwards because this is the result i want right so how do we flip this so an obvious choice would be to flip these two keyframes but what if your animation has many different keyframes so in this case um, let's grab our box and go to key and actually bake the simulation. When I bake the simulation, you see that now I have a lot of keys to deal with and maybe swapping them is not the best way of doing it. So what would be the proper way of uh, making it flip? So to do that, all you need to do is go to Windows, go to Animation, go to Graph Editor, and you will see your animation with all these keys, right? So all I'm gonna do is select all of them grab my scale tool and in an empty area not in the keyframe I'm just simply gonna middle uh, click and drag on my mouse flipping the whole entire animation backwards and on the bottom left you can see there's something called times time scale so I can actually make sure that it's set to uh, minus one and just release right so one uh, thing that you will deal with is that you will see that your feet, uh, keys actually moved. So you can, of course, grab them and using the move tool, you can put them back. And let's go ahead and play our animation. So now you could see that it's playing backwards. So that's great. That's very cool. And that's what that's the result we're looking for. Okay. That's uh, one way of doing it. Another way of doing it would be to actually flip it uh, automatically. So let's flip it back to the way we had it. Right now we have it large to small. Now I changed my mind. I want to go back to small to large. So yes, I can control Z, but for the sake of this exercise, let's continue exploring other methods of reversing our animation. So another way of doing it is go to edit, go to scale, options and I'm gonna select time slider and I'm gonna simply say the start and end to go from 24 to 1 okay and I'm gonna say apply and then watch what happens to my graph when I play, press apply you see how the line just switched so now if you press play you will see that the box is actually getting from small to large so that is how you would flip it automatically without dealing with the manually scaling the buttons. So I want to show you these couple of cool options. And just for the sake of this video, um, let's take something even more advanced. Maybe I can open up one of my existing animations, a character. So in this example, I have a character. If I press play, he has this animation of 85 keyframes and he's walking fr uh, like a sneaky walk cycle. He's walking forward. Well, let's say I have a client and he decides that the character needs to walk backwards, right? So let's try our um, approach and see if it works with joints as well, right? So I'm going to make sure my uh, skeleton is active. I'm going to select my hierarchy and make sure all the keyframes are selected and let's go ahead and look at our animation graph and see what that looks like so as you can see this is a lot more elaborate there's a lot more stuff going on so i'm going to try to do the same thing i'm going to try to grab all of these keys edit scale options and i'm going to flip the entire time slider and i'm going to go from this time from 85 back to one and I'm going to say apply. 
Okay, it flipped my entire animation graph. And now if I press play, you can see my character is now walking backwards. So that's how simple it is. And I hope you found this useful. And if you enjoy these mini tutorials, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks a lot.